peace to everybody that's out there. I'm Carmelo Anthony here. Welcome to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. Yeah. This is my co-host, the Camaro baby, the human do-rag flip in the building. And man, listen, this is a Wave Sports and Entertainment Originals presented by Prize Picks. Yo, I'm gonna keep it a bean. They was like, yo, you gotta intro these two guys. You fucked up the intro earlier, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we, we already did it. You I'm gonna give you another but, shot. I'm but, but, another but, shot. Listen, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep it a bean. These two guys, man. First off, this uh, next one, people would sit up here and, uh, and uh, you know, vamp for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm not gonna do that. Because we have very special guests in the building. Y'all already know who they are. The first one is one of the greatest stand-ups of all time. Of all time. Former host of Def Comedy Jam. You so crazy. You so crazy. <laughs> Y'all know him, man. His eponymous show ran for a million years. It was landmark television. Martin Lawrence, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Top five. You know what I mean? Mad funny movies on deck, and of course. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. <laughs> Marty Ma. Marty Ma. Yes, sir. <laughs> My God. Love, welcome. Buddy. Welcome to the show. How y'all doing? Huh? Next up, man. Y'all know who this is, man. It's the box office god. It's Mr. Fourth of July. You know what I'm saying? He puts numbers on the ball like push up. You know what I'm saying? Unless I forget, he's the one and only Fresh Prince, y'all. Make some noise, give it up for the legend, Will Smith. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. yes. We got more arms of Will Smith for this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Brother, my Big brother. Billy Style. Brother, yes. Welcome oh to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. Yeah, I'ma just say before we, I'm a fan. Yeah. Right. We, we, I know you a long time. Yes, Maybe sir. We go back a long time. Martin, I'm a fan. I'ma <laughs> just I'm say, fan. I'm a, I'm a fucking fan. I'ma just say, <laughs> I've never met you before. Mm -hmm. Right. I've been in this game for a long time, in this industry for a long time, and it's not often that. You may think that we cross paths with everybody and each other and other stars, but for me to have you here in New York mm -hmm. on 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, yeah. yeah, yeah, where we are watching your movie, something that you guys have been building for 30 years. Yeah, we grew up on you. I grew up on you. We all grew up on you. Everybody in here. Yeah, I just want to make some noise, make some noise, man. Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. Right here, man. Absolutely, absolutely. This is big. I just want to say thank you. Yeah. For what you bring to the game, what you bring to the industry, what you brought to our households, the way you made us laugh, the way you, the way you made us cry, the way you made our families come together. Yeah. I just want to say personally, I never got a chance to tell you that, but thank you. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. Well, so Miro can go now. I just yeah, wanted to get that out thank the way. You, I'm, I'm going to shoot <laughs> that over you, to you now, Chan. Word, you. man. Nah, honestly, man, I, it's, this is an honor, man. This is, it's a long time coming. I feel like, you know, a duo of this magnitude, you know what I'm saying? Could only be interviewed by a duo of this magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I like that. I like that. that. Time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Usually the show's a red hook, you know what I mean? But today is a very special occasion. I already know. We at the Roxy Hotel. Yeah. Um, I want to start off by asking y'all, y'all been everywhere and everywhere that mm -hmm. there is to be in the world. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most fire New York night? You have had mm. as an individual. You don't gotta listen. It don't gotta be triple X rated. It could just okay, be, yeah. be mine regular. Is, mine has been uh, performing at the Barclays. What? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're gonna say the Garden. Yeah. And and Radio City Music Hall back yeah. in the day. Back in the day. Okay, that's York. MSG too. New York, is, <laughs> New, York, <laughs> New York has always supported me every time I come out. Yeah. The Def Jam days and everything. So you know, this is another home for me. You yeah. know, I used to. I grew up in Queens uh, before I moved to Landover. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so New York is like home. You know. Love that. Shout out yeah. to the DMV, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I think the best night I've ever had in, in New York was Jeff won the DJ battle for world supremacy. Mm. Wow. Right. That's, that's hip hop. Yeah, and it was at, it was at the, uh, the Marriott Marquis mm. in, in 1986. And I just, I had graduated from high school and we had just started rapping together. We had no records out. And it was like the our career got launched. Jeff came, this kid from Philly, 
and showed out and won the DJ battle for world supremacy. And it was the first time I had seen one of my friends cry, mm. right? And mm. Jeff won the, that battle. And it was like, I remember we were on like the 16th floor or something and just looking out at New York. And it was like, to be able to, to like, it's really true. It's like in the song, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere, right? And it was like, it was that kind of, of moment. And that, that, I think that's the, that's the best night I've ever had in Oof. New York. Bro, that's yeah. that's the, bro. You took. You, I thought you was gonna say y'all, y'all. Like, I turned <laughs> up. Last week, Kenny Fried. <laughs> we won the, we won the battle for world supremacy, and we're there, and it's a knock on the door, and it's Eric B and Rakim. Stop it. Wow. And so Eric B and Rakim walked in. They was like, "Yo, you know, congratulations." And that's that's how we met Eric B and Rakim because they came to congratulate us for winning. The battle for world supremacy. How did I feel Rock as an Kim MC, dope. dude? Listen, well, it's the God when MC. You're, yeah, when you when you when when Rock Kim walks in, yeah. like you 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 really kind of know you're not an MC. But it was like wonder because you know Rock Kim was my that was like that that was my dude. You know I, I you know I knew I would never be that. But it was like when he walked in, they specifically came in to say, you know, it's like, you know, he was like, y'all, we not used to congratulating Philly niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the God of the <laughs> Yo, he's selling it. Yeah, but it was like, it was, and they just sat there and just talked to us for like two hours. Oof. Yeah. That's fire. Marty, DC, y'all both East Coast guys, right? Yeah, yeah. DC, Philly. Yep. What is something from your hometown? Well, I'm going to go with you first. What's something from your hometown that you took with you in your endeavors in entertainment and the industry and all that? Not mambo uh, sauce. Though. My no boxing mambo skill. Sauce. <laughs> no mambo <laughs> sauce. <laughs> you know, Melo know we know how to fight out. out, out <laughs> now, I know you go to glove, though, champ. I know you go to glove. So I had to take them skills with me to the L.A. case, you know, I had to whoop a little ass. <laughs> You know, so, you know, uh, I knew I had, because I was by myself, right. you know, so I had to take those skills with me. You, you um, was your own uh, security. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was my own security <laughs> at the beginning of my career, you know, until I got punched in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, maybe, maybe I'm not a fighter. Maybe yeah, I'm yeah. not a fighter. So, and then until like, I started getting charges for fighting, you know, <laughs> hitting somebody. You, know, yeah, you so. get your assault charges, so big, you chill out. Bro. Yeah, yeah, so I chilled out. You know, I'm, I'm a peaceful man, godly man, <laughs> spiritual man, yeah. loving man. And uh, I want nothing but peace. That's it. It's peace. He's a soulful man. Soul has no penis. It's <laughs> 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 callback, huh? Uh, well, West Philadelphia, born and raised. Yeah, you man. Know? On the playgrounds where I spent most of my days. I heard that. Yeah. I heard, yeah. I heard yeah. that. <laughs> Shout out to West Philly, too. Yeah. Shout Philly, out to West man. Philly. Yeah. No, yeah, um, you said, what, what did I take with me? Uh, I took 10 dudes from Philly. <laughs> you took I took everybody. I took my whole neighborhood. You know that that was one of the um, you know one one of the one of the things when I was you know le leaving Philly just to have that opportunity to just you know take my whole squad. You know, and you know it, it's it, during during that time. What was really great, like that time, right? Eighty six was like pre guns. Like nobody had uh. guns. Right, it was no guns, right? So you could really just go and party, right? And it was like that was that that eighty six to like ninety, and that's where the transition was. But it was like the best time, just out around the the country with with you know ten of my boys from from Philly, and that that was just like the real beauty. It's like it, it's it's so not money, it's so not success. It's like that's not what makes it. It's like it's your ride or die. Your ride or die, mm -hmm. right? Totally. It's like who's your people, right? And it's like you know, happy is having a, a team, yeah. you know, more than it is success. You know, you want to win. Absolutely, you definitely want to win. But it's like you know, who is your squad? If you're not if you're not loving the your people, then you need some new people, right? Because it's like you'll never get there. Yeah. You know, you'll never get there. There's no there to get to. Here is there, you know? So that's like, I had just the perfect coming up in the, in the business.
I, I, so spend it. So talking about that, right? Talking about the team, like we ain't nothing without our team. Yeah. You guys been building this relationship for almost thirty years, yeah. right? And to be able to, I, I mentioned this earlier, the fact that two powerhouses coming together yeah. at the height of their career. Well, they, well, you guys, you guys have done it all. Yeah. Franchises, franchises, mm-hmm. box office, box office, stand ups, music. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's nothing that you guys haven't done. How does that work? Because I've tried the shit. It don't work. <laughs> it ain't work for me. <laughs> the shit ain't work for me. So, but like, 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 how did y'all, how was y'all able to allow each other to flow and each other to bring their they own game yeah. to the table Absolutely. where y'all respect one another but still go out there and make That's a it. masterpiece like That's that? That's it. A great deal of respect and love for each other. And uh, we're very professional, you know. When we hit the set, we, we know what we're doing. We don't mess around. Will's about rehearsals. He's all about. <laughs> he, he, he'll, he'll, rehearse, he'll rehearse 10 days out of the week. <laughs> but uh, he, he's serious and, uh, you know, he's all about business and it just makes everybody else fall in line. On the, the first day, of shooting Bad Boys 4, right? So, you know, we're producing and starring and that's a little extra burden, right? So, you know, on the first day, we're running around, we're running around, and uh, Martin just stops. He said, hey, hey, hold, hold on, hold on. I said, hey, what's up? And he just looked, he said, I love you, brother. Aww. Oh. And I was like. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, 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 all love, brother, all love. All love. He said, no, 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 no. He said, you know, I love you, brother. And I was like, I, you know, I emotionally, I couldn't have it at that moment. But I was like, you know, I love you too, man. And he just hugged me and he said, we're going to have fun making this movie. It's like, we're not rushing through this one, you know? And it was like, he just set the tone, you know? And, you know, to, to answer the question, it's like, we put the other one first. Mm. Right. When we walk into a scene, I'm thinking about what does Martin need? Mm. Right. And I don't need nothing from the scene but for him to shine. And he does the same thing. Right. And there's a weird magic that happens when you surrender your ego and you serve. Mm. Right. Talk about it. You know, and that's just, we both hit the set. And when we walk on set, we're protecting each other, not protecting ourselves. Yes. Right? And it's just the most beautiful uh, work environment. It's like the real definition of ride or die. Mm. Dog, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, listen, yeah, do your thing, clap. Because that was the seventh moment. Will should, will yeah, should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> yeah, fam. Y'all all getting to charge $20 when y'all walk out of here for that speech. <laughs> we are getting closer and closer to the NBA Finals, and Prize Picks has got you covered when it comes to help you make some bread during the playoffs. Yes, sir. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and you could turn your $10? into $1,000. Prize picks is wild simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Yo. So be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, stay locked in the 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. Everyone's got a thirst, you know that, a drive to be the next big thing to put the world on notice. And if you answer when your thirst calls, then Sprite is for you. <laughs> It is, man. Sprites for the makers and the creators. You know what I mean? The visionaries putting in work into their dreams. Whether you're shooting a cinematic masterpiece on your phone. Filling notebooks with sketches. Or up all night turning your bedroom to the booth. Keep going. You know thirst is everything. Mm -hmm. Sprites made for those who have a thirst for success. And are working on turning their dreams into reality. So keep going. And remember to be true to yourself. Obey your thirst. Sprite. (laughs) So that brings me to the, to the 7 p.m. moment. The 7 p.m. moment is a moment in your career, in your life, where you have to really lock in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And focus yeah. and be like, yo, this is, I'm Will Smith, dog. Yeah. I'm Martin Lawrence. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing this. What was a moment that you can remember say, and that puts you there in that, in that place? The moment I decided. Um, it was, I think it was uh, 88. 
and we had won a Grammy, and uh, but I had neglected to pay my taxes. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I neglected to do that. Eighty-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, I was like, you know, they, they, the IRS gets money from everybody. They don't like mine. need mine, and <laughs> but uh, they, they felt differently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so the IRS had, you know, just, I, I didn't pay taxes for the two years and winning a Grammy and all that, so I didn't pay taxes. So they, they just thought they should take my stuff. Um, so it was, you know, I was a little down and I went out to LA. I sold everything in Philly. Like, I was like broke, broke. I sold everything in Philly. And uh, the butt, it was like the like eighty nine. The butt was like the the big record. Doing the and butt. Doing the butt. Doing the butt. And, uh, right. <laughs> EU. DC go go. DC yeah. 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 So we had they had been on tour under us while we were big. Like so we had a, we won a Grammy and we were big and then we started to fall off as they were rising. And me and Charlie Mack was backstage and we were walk. We we're outside of a club called the Palladium. So. We were outside, and I looked through and through the door. I'm standing. The security didn't recognize us, right? So I looked in, and you know, I saw one of the members of the group, and we had just been on tour. And I was like, "Yo, man, yo, yo, yo!" And I played myself, but I was like, "I was like, yo, 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 man, get the security!" And he like flagged me off, and the door closed in my face. <laughs> yeah. And me and Charlie Mack, we was walking down Hollywood Boulevard. And I remember I turned to Charlie, I said, that will never happen again. Mm. And I just made a decision in that moment. I was going to be the biggest fucking star on earth. Talk to him. Mission accomplished. You know. <laughs> Hold on. What you got to say? You over here chuckling this shit. All right, Mark, all right, Mark, got some shit. Mark, got some shit to, that, that was so good, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was just in the moment. I was, I was just like, I was intrigued. I was like, damn, what, what, what door closed? Oh. <laughs> this thing is inspirational. <laughs> the question was, what was your moment? What was your? We have a seven p.m. moment yeah. where it's like, okay, this is it. Okay, this is mm -hmm. this is gonna change my life. I'm for me, it was the Martin show. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, I was at the helm of it all, you know, and, uh, you know, I had to run a whole show and um, there was no other show that had uh, behind the cameras and in front of the camera right. quality black, black writers and yeah. actors and everything. And we were the only set out there that had that. Mm -hmm. And I, w I was employing, you know, qualified black people and uh, yeah. we were doing our thing and we were a hit. We were a hit and that's that. That was the moment for me. Absolutely. Oof, that it makes noise for that. Yeah, not nah, so. And I also want to say, so Martin had bad boys. I wasn't, as I said, I said earlier, Martin, Martin had bad boys, and I, I didn't. So Martin called me and said, hey, I want you to make this movie. And you know, this moment is like Martin's prophecy, right? He said to me that first night, he said, if Two, the two biggest black stars on television, if they get together and they make a movie, it will be something the culture will never forget. You have to do this movie with me. And it was like, you know, I said, all right, let me see the script. He was like, nah. <laughs> Too much practice. You want to You want to rehearse too much. He was like, "Script's not there yet. Script's not there yet. Don't worry about the script. We'll fix that. I need you to commit to this." And, you know, he had me commit to. He's like, "Just commit to you and me making this movie. And, we'll figure and it out." It's one of the best best decisions I made, as, as y'all can tell. <laughs> Since we're here, we're talking about the movie, let's talk about the characters. Four films, we, we got to see Mike and Mark's case kind of grow into yeah. themselves and, and evolve as characters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You become a, a very soulful individual in this mm -hmm. installment. 
Talk a little bit about that. You know what I mean? How it go from one, because shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> For real, like you said, one of the illest callbacks. That's one of, listen, that history. is one of the illest callbacks <laughs> in movie history. <laughs> He was like, shit, nigga, you look 30. <laughs> look right? 30. Like, all the way from there. All the way from there. Dude, I'm going to let the motherfucker cook this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking surrendering. Yeah, you know, yo. what I'm and it's like that. Like over twenty years, a twenty-year callback, Call right? Like that is like such a gift to to anybody that saw Bad Boys Two, and 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 it's like his name. His name is Dennis, and I re I remember I, I pulled Dennis up about the, like three months before the movie. I said, okay, listen. I said, if you do what I tell you to do, you're going to have the best summer of your life. <laughs> right. I said, what's written for you is the coolest shit that's ever been written <laughs> for a movie. But I need you. I'm going to put you with these dudes, and I need you to train every day like your life depended on it. And that dude was training seven days a week with wow. military people, with martial arts, and he committed so hard to d deliver that scene. And when you see it, it's like, it's just beautiful. And that is the level of devotion and commitment. I'm telling you, he was, the, the minimum he ever did was five days and probably seven hours in a day. That's the least. Damn. For Damn. three months, he was like every second of that scene he was he was working on, and it's like it, it just it just shows because Reggie showed out. Yo, oh, wow. <laughs> we the shout out to ass, Dennis. Bro. Reggie <laughs> <laughs> was busting that. Yeah. He about to say something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no big shout out to Dennis. He, he did his thing, and the way y'all responded is, mm -hmm. is great. And and I know he loved it. And uh, like Will said, he's gonna have a great yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I just want to see him work more and everything, and them recognize what he yeah. his talent. You know, yeah. I but like to Will, see people prosper. But what you 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 have a you have a tendency to reach people like that, mm -hmm. right? And from in the in the in the human form. Yeah. And I had that moment, a 7 p.m. moment in 2008 mm -hmm. when I came to your house and we sat down and you talked and you asked me, we were talking about the 08 Olympics, mm -hmm. and you asked me, right. you said, do you, want, do you want it? How bad you want it? And I said, I really don't know if I want to do this. Wow. And you told me, your career is in your hand. Yes, sir. If you don't take this moment, yeah and do what you have to do in this moment, this moment would change your life. So I wanted to bring that up because you always given that type of advice. I don't know if you remember that, I but do, yes. that, that advice for me changed the trajectory in my life. Because I sat, I sat in this man house in 2008 where I wasn't gonna make the USA team. People don't know that. I was the last option on the USA team. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. That was yeah. your external voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you got to understand the times at that time. It was always shit was going down. There was a lot going down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to go, I had to go see Uncle Will, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Will gave me the gem. So I just, you know, I just always wanted to give you a shout out because of that, man. And so I, I understand what Reggie uh, <laughs> actually went through when he took that advice from you. I'm, I'm sure he was in them seven hour classes early too. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Coinbase. Coinbase is the best and easiest place to get started with crypto. Coinbase is the most trusted, only publicly traded crypto exchange. And honestly, the best way to get it started learning about crypto is to just simply try it. You know what I mean? It's real easy, buy a little crypto, Get started investing with as little as $20. It's also a great place to learn about crypto. Get the latest crypto news directly. You might have heard of Bitcoin. That was the world's first cryptocurrency and still the most popular. But Coinbase has over 200 digital assets on its platform that you could trade, including Ethereum, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, and mad other currencies. Fans of this podcast get $20 in Bitcoin when you sign up and make a trade today. Today, using promo code 7PM at Coinbase.com slash partner slash 7PM. Coinbase. Crypto moves money forward. Before we get back to the show, 7PM in Brooklyn is sponsored by BetterHelp. We all carry around different stresses, big and small. When we keep them bottled up, 
it can start to affect us negatively. And therapy, as we know, is a safe space to get things off your chest and to figure out how to work through whatever's weighing you down. So, Miro, how have you benefited from therapy? You said it, man. I talk about things that have been weighing me down and I work through and find solutions to my stresses, big or small. Therapy for me just puts things in perspective, takes biases out of it, mm. allow you to just step outside of it and have a different perspective on whatever it is that's, that's bothering you. Mm. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's cool. It's nice. It's brilliant. And it's entirely online. So designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Listen, man, get it off your chest, dog, with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 7 p.m. today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 7 p.m. The thing is that people don't really realize what it takes to win, right? And it's like, there's a really, there's a really a great, a great quote. Don, Don Simpson, who was uh, one of the original pr producers of the first Bad Boys. And we saw a screen and it was really good. And he said, uh, you know, I said, man, I said, you know, it's good. It's, it's at about 90%, you know? And he said, the great thing about being at 90% is at least you know you're halfway there. Mm. <laughs> halfway right? That's crazy. And I was like, and that has turned out to be so true. The difference between 90% and 100% is lifetimes of difference. The difference between a good player and a great player is light years. It's like, you know, my, my son was a chronic B student and he would get Bs all the time. And he was like, dad, you know, it's just, I really could get A's, you know, if I wanted to. And I was like, nigga, I promise you, you can't. <laughs> Believe in yourself. I promise you, you can. You think that the difference between a B and an A is the same as the difference between a C and a B. Nigga, it's not. It's not. Right? It's like you might have to eat differently. Like you might have to change friends. You might have to study sleep you know, to get from, uh, from B's to A's. It's like the, the difference between good and great it is underestimated by most humans. It's like, if you wanna be good, you can be talented and be good. You can just, you can wake up and be good. Like, you know, but if you good and you just wake up and be good, you ain't, you're not gonna beat me. You're never gonna beat me if Talk you're not like, if you're not doing, you know, 70 hour weeks on your craft, right? And it's like, that is such a hard thing to communicate to people. And it's even more difficult when people are talented, when people get a B easy. They think they got it. They think they got it, you know? And it's like, I'm telling you, it's like, it's not easy, but it is really simple to change your life. It's so simple. Right? People don't realize that one bad night fucks up 10. You can't have, you can't get drunk and fucking not work out on Saturday. <laughs> you can't, you, you mess up 10 days. Like somebody else is getting past you in that time. It's like the level of sharpness and discipline that it takes to get to the heights that, that you dream of is really simple. It's just not easy. Love that. Wow. Man. So while I'm getting fat, somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's, crazy. That's, crazy. That's basically <laughs> what, what you're saying. <laughs> while I'm getting fat, somebody else is. <laughs> Yo. So no, listen. So Martin, so we decided we were gonna do Bad Boys Four, right? So we talked. It's like, so what we do is we usually have one meeting before. So I called him. So hey, man, listen, we we want to do it. We're gonna have a meeting. So I go to the meeting. We haven't even decided we're gonna do it, and he had lost twenty pounds. I was like, yo, what did you do? It. I want the surprise. Man. <laughs> Yeah. But, but Will ain't gonna let you outdo him, so as soon as we finished, he left and went right to the gym. 
<laughs> I got some key running up at the old workout. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah. So, in this franchise, there's been a lot of like celebrity cameos. Is it just a phone call? Like, yo, listen, we we doing this new joint. You want to be in it? Yeah. For like a, a scene or a cameo or whatever. Like, no, you know what? So we use we come up with the idea first, and it's like. There's something about this franchise. Everybody says yes to be in this franchise. Okay, like, like yo, yo do you want to be in a scene in Bad Boys? It's like yeah. everybody, you I'm know, says, says yes, and they, you know, they want they want to do it. And Sal was there from, you know, Bad Boys One, oh, so he was in, you know, he was in every movie. He wasn't in three. He was in one and two, and then when he then when he wasn't in three. He pulled up on me. He, got he, pulled, <laughs> he pulled up on Bad me. He pulled, he pulled. He came to the premiere and he supported. And he was he was real calm. He was like, "Hey, there'll never be another one of these. I'm not in." <laughs> I was like, "Oh uh, wow, okay. I think you meant that." <laughs> okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, yo, yo. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> comedians. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well versed in comedy. I read that Michael Bay wanted y'all to ad lib a lot. In the first yeah, movie. were y'all cool with that? Or was Michael it like, Bay almost hit Will in the. I mean, you in know, the car. That was Michael Bay. Yeah, Michael yeah, Bay. Anybody see yeah. that? Anybody peep yeah, that? Michael, that was a Stanley yeah. cameo. Michael right Bay slick though, because <laughs> he had Will call me a bitch. <laughs> Cause if y'all noticed that in that scene, I I tried to keep it cool. I want to say, bad what boys the fuck one. you call me? You know, cause I didn't, you know, from Mellow know where we I from. Know. You call a nigga bitch. That, that's <laughs> part of, those are rumble words, you know. And so Michael sneaks and tells Will, call him a bitch. Call him when, a bitch when he, in when the he scene. don't think. And, I was like, Mike, he don't like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, we just won't leave. You just say it and see what he says. He's a fucking comedian. He's going to say something funny back. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, Will, and Will does it. And I was it. like, he, oh, shit. Is he acting like an old bitch. He's driving like a bitch. <laughs> you know? I, I said, oh, well, and I knew I had to keep it cool. <laughs> I couldn't lose it. And so I'm on the wheel, and I'm like, yeah, well, we would be two bitches in the seat. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, man, listen, yeah. we, got, we got the number one segment in America. You know what I'm saying? It's called, yes, it's called fuck with it or oh, fuck, fuck out of here. here. Fuck it with it or fuck out of here. Yes, sir. Well, we uh, ask you a question yes. about what pop culture, random things, mm -hmm. and you say, if you're fucking with it, Oh, if it's a fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm All right. First up. <laughs> For this practice. First fuck up. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here. Right. I got it. Oh, I, I got to say that Scott real well. Fuck, 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 fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I think I'm going to say that no matter what you <laughs> say. <laughs> 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 no, <fuck laughs> yeah. So it, it hurts It hurts to say this because he's part of the Wave gang. He's part of the Wave sports family. But Jason Kelsey trolled the entire world recently. Mm -hmm. And he said, when he let it be known. Mm -hmm. That he does not wash his feet. Mm. He tweeted out. <laughs> like, this is the tweet. He said, "What kind of weirdo washes their feet?" Yo. Oh. Hot spots are all that is necessary, and actually leads to clean, healthier skin. Fuck so out of here. <laughs> God, Wash your feet. <laughs> nasty ass getting, getting in the bed with them nasty ass. <laughs> so, I, it's a fuck out of here for my yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck out of here. here. It's a consistent <laughs> fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's not the oh, feet, it's the, you, know, you got to get between the toes, that's right? Because that's the... It's the toe jam. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You don't wash your feet. You don't wash your feet. It's crazy. You ain't feeling about the jam. Fuck out of here. You play football at all times. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm center, bro. Yo. <laughs> fuck out of here. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. What are y'all? What are y'all hygiene non-negotiables? Mm. Like yo, if you if you don't do this, I ain't fucking with you at all. I, so I, I don't like feet. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't like feet. feet. Like some people like feet. <laughs> but, like you like feet, right? Like <laughs> if, if if they if they polished and, and the toes that got all coins on the motherfucker. Yeah. 
and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll massage your feet for her. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't sure. I'll, Listen, yeah. <laughs> I keep my socks on all the time, like, at the beach. I got socks on at Yo, the beach. Yo, cut it out. No, I don't like, like, feet, feet. No, that's crazy, though. That's no, like, socks at feet, the beach? Feet can fuck the night up, man. Like, <laughs> like drinking? Like, like, huh? Like drinking? Yeah, like, yeah, feet. I'm a, so- like, I'm a socks at the beach the guy, too. I'm a socks at the beach. No, because, you know, because every once in a while, you know, you get, like, you know, like somebody who likes feet, and they'll, like, be trying to put their feet in your face. <laughs> like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, hey, hold on. Don't, 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 like, no feet. We're not doing feet. Not doing feet. Fuck out of here. You'll never fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. You will never see this man's soles on wiki feet. Yeah. Never. Never. He ain't selling them, selling pictures, none of that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like them in general. <laughs> Oh my the Will Smith God. only fans does not include feet. <laughs> uh, mine is fucking with him. Mm. Fucking with him. <laughs> you fucking with it? Yeah. Fucking you, with you fucking with feet? Yeah, yeah, because you know that get him <laughs> yeah, that get him yeah, in yeah. The, that get him in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> They if you get pinky. that little that little pinky toe oh, yeah. and you rub it right, oh. rub it right, <laughs> rub it right, <laughs> yeah. They, ah, oh. Oh. Ah, oh. Yeah. No, that I would be making that sound like. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh shit! So it's so a fuck out of here. Yeah, fuck out. Yeah, no, he fucking with it, and I'm fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Feet, ladies and gentlemen. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not crazy as feet. I'm okay. crying up here. But <laughs> we had oh, met the man on recently. I saw our guy met the man to You know what I'm saying? Mm. Who said recently about Summer Jam that he is why he enjoyed himself. He is never coming back to Summer Jam mm. because the generation gap is too wide. Mm. That they wasn't feeling, they wasn't giving the appropriate response to appropriate jams like, you know, Red yeah, MF out there yeah, going yeah. back and forth. It's Abomatology. They want Method, me. oh, Well, wow, that, wow, that wow, coming yeah. from they Method, that. man, I got to fuck with that. I got to fuck with it. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm a, fuck I fuck with, with it if, if Method, you're like, you know. But here's the question, though. Yes. Here's the fuck with the fuck out of here. Okay. Performing as, as elder statesmen okay. in entertainment. <laughs> hey, come on, I wasn't, come on, what the fuck? You about to get a fuck out of here. He's <laughs> <laughs> cool, he's <laughs> You gotta finish the question, you gotta finish the question. Elder Statesman is a term of endearment. Fucking it's Elder Statesman, fuck out of here. I was, about to, I was about to say fuck out of here too, too. You know, <laughs> No, you know, place. as you know, as basic old ass niggas, like how this? do y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you niggas doing them old ass jokes up on the old ass stage? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's fundamental old niggas, like how? <laughs> as foundational old as niggas. Foundational old niggas. When you, how does your brain? Uh, <laughs> Uh, What's sorry, it? Are sorry, we into it? sorry. So Elder Statesman, yes. <laughs> performing in front of a young crowd, even if they're not familiar with all your material yet. Mm. Or Ooh. is it, yo, fuck it, I'm going to go up there and kick the truth to the young black youth. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with it. <laughs> yeah, so I right. always kick the truth. Always, yeah, you no got to kick what. the truth. No you got to kick the truth. But like, we ran into that with with Bad Boys, right? So with this with this movie, right, so... You know, there's the nostalgia crowd that knows everything, uh. you know, from the original. But then there's like, you know, the first movie was 30 years ago. Yeah. That's a generation and a half ago. Right? So some, somebody who's 20, yeah, you know, as, you know as, a, as a fundamental old ass nigga myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, so it was things like, so the directors are young, right? So the, the, the directors are in their 30s. So, you know, they were kids when the, the first movie came out. So things like the first person shooter. So the thing that done where the gun yes. comes, That's that video. video. Game. That was yeah, crazy. right. So we, you know, we was like, Ugh, you know, but it's like that's that's the new flavor. That's mm. the new energy. So trying to find a thing where it's nostalgic and you you satisfy, you know, Tracy Morgan is clapping, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. but also. 
you know, 15 like, years old, 18 year old kids can also appreciate it. So that like finding that balance, it, it is really it's di- it, it's difficult. But I think this movie strikes that good tone, you know, where where you capture both things. But I think introducing the new generation to the you know the the uh, foundational old ass nigga stuff is really uh, uh, you know I think it's part of our responsibility as far as that you know that, that shit is going platinum by the way he's putting that shit on tomorrow <laughs> F-O-N yeah. uh, oh, that's 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 interesting because I'm sitting back there with my son oh wow and he's like Yo, they got the video game shit in yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, they right. got the Call of Duty first person well, shooter yeah, in here. Exactly. <laughs> like, that right there is, yes. is, is what resonates to this younger generation. The yeah. fact that he didn't watch all the other three. Yeah. But this one, in this point in time, in this time period, he's like, wow. Yeah. First person shooter. Um, that's what I gravitate towards. Yes. Like I know that right. shit right there. That's what Reggie is. That's what Reggie that's is. That's what Reggie is. Reggie is a video there game. Playing the video game. He's a video and, game. And everybody in that age group wants to think that from the video game and the work they do on that video game, <laughs> if it <laughs> went down, yeah. they yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I tell you what, hey yeah. son, that shit go down in our house. Yeah. I ain't Reggie. I'm gonna let I you know. know. <laughs> 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 I'm Reggie, motherfucker, I'm regular. Yeah, yeah. I'm a regular ass nigga. I'm not doing all this kind of maneuvers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo. Hey, man. Oh, man. Thank y'all Facts. for this evening. You know what I'm saying? Thank, Thank you, man. Y'all, Coming man. Through, you know, this is beautiful, good. man. This has been cool, up. man. I'm so glad we came here. I know, man. this is fantastic. This is fantastic. I you like know, this is a cultural moment, man. Yeah, talking about no. the 80s, the Grammys, and all that, man. Yeah. Talking about little, for the culture. My sister got to get a picture with you. Yeah, yeah, right. sis. Where you at, sis? Yeah. Come on down. Come right. on, sis. Come on, sis. Come on down, down, sis. And where my sister? My sister's yeah. here, too. Yeah. Ellen, come on come down. Come on, sis. Ellen, come on down. Come on down. Our sisters, right? Got our sisters. Yeah. Got to get. We will bring the family down. Yeah. You know, because you know when I go home. Kai. Hey, Kai, where you at, Kai? Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. When I when I go yes. home, I hear. Yes, I go listen. Listen. Oh. Well, Mark, man. <laughs> because yeah. y'all have come, come through and rock with us. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all. We oh, all beautiful, have. brother. Thank got you, some gifts. He got thank some 7 p.m. merch. Thank you. Thank you. Got yeah, some yeah. 7 p.m. merch. He got hats. 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, but I, son. I, I, thank I couldn't you. let I couldn't let Miro one up me, so mm. I, I came with the red wine with Woo! the vino. Yes, exactly. So this is this is the seventh estate Woo! by Robin Mondavi. Ooh. This is our new vintage that we coming out with called Fire. Old to Soul. Love that. You can know you by the by the by the title, you know what this is about. This is about paying homage. I want to give this to Martin Lawrence. I want to give this to Will Smith. Yes, thank you, brother. This right here. Thank you, brother. I just want to say thank you. you I want to say thank you guys. Again, you got us, you got us out of our element. Yeah. We usually do this in Bread Hook. We usually do this in Brooklyn. But we had the opportunity, and a lot of times in life. You have to zig when they zag. And I right. think that's what we did today. Yes, beautiful. This was super. It was last minute, but it wasn't last minute. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart as a fan. Word. Somebody who's watched y'all, somebody who's grew up on y'all, somebody who's learned a lot from y'all, not just from your craft, but what y'all do in the world and how y'all transcend what we do as businessmen in this world. So thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate Love you it. guys, man. Appreciate I'm always you. be a fan. God bless, brothers. Brother. And right. you guys are brothers for life. Y'all. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. I'll make some noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.